There is a D.O.G. in my bed. I should have known you'd try to get David Vickers into your bed. Get this mutt out of my room immediately. He is not a mutt. He is adorable. Oh, aren't you love muffins? Out, out, out. Huh? I do what I can, Mrs. Kramer Vickers. Must you go traipsing around my house in a towel? No. Yes. No. Oh! Oh, what, what? What? What in heaven's name? There is a God, and you are the eighth wonder of the world. Eighth wonder, at your service. Just say the word. The word? <laughs> but not right now. Come along, Princess David Vickers. It's breakfast time. Put that towel back on now. Fine. Great. How much longer do you plan to continue torturing me? Really, Dorian? Torture is a four-letter word in this political climate. You're just doing this to drive me crazy, and you know it. You used to love it when I did this. <gasps> I hope you kept a journal, because <laughs> those days are over. Pay me what you owe me, and I'll leave. I owe you absolutely nothing! Oh, well then, nothing. fine. Then this torture lasts forever. Or at least until I can bleed you dry. Which, after your recent financial acquisition, could also be forever. This is my house. I can still throw you out. Yes, you can. And if you do that, I will take your sister, my wife, with me. And you will never see Addie again. I'm worried about getting sued or what, but I'm not really trying to blame what happened on anyone. I just want the truth. And you heard it. You and your friend didn't drink here that night. Well, how can you be so sure of that? Because that night I found you back in the alley, there was a private party in here, and you weren't part of it. He's covering his ass. 35 ladies having a wild bachelorette night. <laughs> now, unless he can come up with the mother of all drag get-ups, he wasn't at the party. This looks like my kind of bash. It was only me and one other server, period. I came out later to dump the trash, and there you were, out of it and reeking of booze. You mumbled the name Vicky. I found your cell phone, called her number. They took you away in an ambulance, and that's it. Thank you. I'm, I mean, I just assumed that I was drinking here. I'm sorry. It's all right. By the way, we're still closed. You threatening me? I'm just telling you the truth, baby. Ha! Where are you going? You can get dressed in front of me. Don't be shy. Put those on! Now! These look like they belong to Clint. They're a little short and wide. Or maybe they belong to that mystery guest of yours from a couple weeks ago. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You brought this on yourself. I had the goods on Jared Banks, and you promised that you would pay me if I stayed quiet. Well, you reneged on that promise, so I launched Plan B. Yeah, taking advantage of my, um, my invalid sister. Oh, she is hardly an invalid. And draining my accounts through her. Well, there is that. That is extortion. You drove me to it. I did? Hell yeah. <laughs> we go way back. How many plots did we hatch together, huh? How many close calls? How many tight jams? Oh, I miss those tight jams. Oh, I could horsewhip you. I miss that, too. <sighs> but you turned on me. And why did you do that? Just because Vicky had some laugh at the fact that she thought we were back together? And so you thought that I didn't stick up for you after you insulted me? What would you have me do? We were lovers. Vicky was... is... nothing. You owe me more than you owe her. Much more. Honor me, not Vicky. You're right, I'm sorry. You're sorry? 
You stood here naked in my bedroom after having spent the night in the bedroom down the hall next to my mentally ill sister. And you say you're sorry? She's not mentally ill <laughs> anymore. Oh, David, how do you think your dear friend Vicky is going to feel when she finds out you've been taking advantage of my sister? Deeply, deeply disappointed. That's not going to work. Bringing up Vicky's name is not going to make me feel guilty. Do you really imagine I think you're capable of feeling guilty? Thanks so much for your psychic's idea that I was not drinking alone. That part is never wrong, at least not with me. We got to retrace your steps, because we're forgetting something. Oh, come on. I have been over it again and again. Look. I went to Rex's apartment that night to tell him the truth about not being his dad. Okay, that was on me. Yes, and then, then the, Rex got the call from the hospital about Adriana having an accident. I went with Rex to the ER. Um, what's her name? Dorian came by later, and then Rex and Adriana just left. So what about Dorian? Well, we had an argument, but everything else is just black. Well, maybe she saw who you were drinking with. Or maybe, better yet, maybe you were drinking with her. Where's David? The dog? Or the sweet, small, furry creature? Dory, you're not going to turn me against my husband. Addie, he is not your husband. Not in the true sense of the word. Can't you see that he's using you? Maybe we're using each other. Is this what you really want? Is this the kind of relationship that you had in mind when you made your to-do list? If you weren't so jealous, you'd be happy for me. I'm not jealous. I'm, I'm not. I just don't want to see you hurt. I won't be hurt. Your own psychic told me David and I are a happy couple. Speaking of that, why was Mel so angry with you when Delfina was channeling him? No, I did not go out drinking with Dorian that night. How do you know? Because I hate her, and she hates me, and we were in a hospital and not a bar. So you're in the ER. What were you arguing with her about? Rex. I mean, yeah. We, we, we fought over the fact that I was going to tell him the truth about being Jared's dad and not his. And after that argument, I don't remember a thing. Okay, call me crazy. I mean, everybody does. But maybe Dorian Lord remembers something that you can't. Why are we talking about my dear dead husband? Because I asked? I don't want to talk about the past. I love you very much. And I just want you to be happy. Well, in that case, I'm going to go play with David. The puppy dog, not the man. Oh. <sighs> what on earth are you doing here? Orion, I'll be asking the questions. David! What's the matter? Uh, Vicki, there's something that I want to tell you before you hear it from someone else. Oh, Lord. Should I sit? Maybe. I got married! 